Welcome back. It's still Morning Rush on Metro Television and it's World Sites Day and one of my favorite clinical ophthalmologists is in the building. It's none other than Dr. Paula Getsi. Getsi. Yes, Getsi. Dr. Paula Getsi. How are you doing? My glorious life is <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you saying that? Um, because we are the glory of God. Yeah. And she's she's glowing. And I've turned it on. Yeah. And so my glorious life is Glo glowing. Wow. wow. Did you actually like deliberately intended to say this? <laughs> <laughs> you you yeah, yeah. Mr. Atabuji will not be happy with you this morning. Yeah, essentially like the like, Atabuji. Because yeah. I was saying Atabuji, Atabuji. You have to hey, <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Don't worry. Mr. Atabuji. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Doc, this year we are talking about, you said that theme for this year is love your eyes at work. Love your eyes at work. Hmm. Why, why only at work? Um, good morning <laughs> to your viewers. Thank you for having me this morning. It's always a delight to be with you. And I'm excited that Nanaya is here. I hear I'm very powerful. <laughs> you got her to <laughs> I got her to come. <laughs> so, um... Uh, you know, World Sites Day is a day that is usually set aside for us to uh, make noise about the importance of the eye. Yeah. And we have been talking about love your eyes for the past, this is the third year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And um, today, I mean, this World Sites Day, we want to focus on eyes mm -hmm. at work. Um, because a lot of the accidents that take place at work okay. can be prevented and we can yeah. be more productive at work and save more money. Mm -hmm. If you are an employer and you take good care of your staff's eyes, they will, put, they will be more productive. Yeah. And we will have a stronger economy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if the working class is doing much better, it will impacts the whole economy mm -hmm. and so okay. this year we want to focus on loving your eyes at work at work mm -hmm. but then o over the course of this campaign loving your eyes um how would you say the education has been in, has been has it been impactful are people actually hearing what we are trying to preach are people understanding the importance of what the eyes does for us yes i can say that because um hitherto people would only go to the eye clinic if mm -hmm. they probably have a problem with their eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling pain, my eyes are tearing. I've tried all options. I've put herbal concoctions on my eyes and nothing herbal is changing. Concoction. Yeah, people wow. do. And I've not seen any improvements. But today you, you are at work and somebody just walks in, I want to have an eye checkup. Okay. And so it's going on well and we want to thank the media houses for the support. We mm. are doing well, wow. and we can get better. Um, we want to make a lot more noise about it, because people are needlessly visual, mm -hmm. visually impaired. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at the statistics, about 2.2 billion people are blind, mm -hmm. but 1 billion out of that could have been prevented, okay. or can be prevented, okay. or something can be done, done about it. it. And okay. so if we make much noise about it, mm -hmm. people will we'll make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you have knowledge about something, you can make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. And so we believe that if the awareness is created and more noise is made about it, uh, our brothers and sisters will have their eyes saved. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I mean, viewers, you may not see this, but <laughs> we've got some things here about this particular year, uh, this year's theme, which is eight things you need to know about your eyes at work. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you find good vision helps us work better. And did you know that a pair of spectacles can improve productivity by 22%? And this is where... <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know why you're pointing at me, but, you know, a lot of people say that I have... I know my eyes are not okay, but I want to wear glasses. I don't want to wear glasses. But this one says that if you put on a pair of spectacles, that can improve productivity by 22%. Yes. I, I, I want us to touch on that. And also, in this age of digit digitalization, where everybody's on their phones, yeah. PC, says that prolonged use of digital screens can affect people of all ages and can negatively impact productivity mm -hmm. if not managed. Well, let's touch on some of the things that we have here. Okay, so um, there is this myth 
about when you wear glasses, like it a lot of people, yes, people mm. say it will worsen your eyesight. Some say it will make your eye go inside. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of parents feel my child is too young mm -hmm. to wear glasses. Um, I know I've, I've digressed a bit, but I just want to chip it in so that parents are not um, uncomfortable with allowing their children to wear spectacles. Otherwise, their eyes become lazy when they grow up and spectacles are not able to help them anymore. Okay. But so if somebody like Desmond didn't have his glasses, mm. he'll be straining to straining. see and he can't be as effective as he is. When he sees me sitting here, I'll be blurry. He doesn't know if I'm sitting. I actually talking about my situation. <laughs> no, I'm just using <laughs> as an example. Okay. And so it, it makes um, work better. You are seeing better. Mm. If you are supposed to be correcting scripts, yeah. you are seeing better. True. And you can move faster. True. But if you are straining to see, it will take a longer time mm. for you. You may be looking for Nanaya to help you to. Yeah. To oh no, it's happened before. One day, I, I, I don't know where I put the glasses. <laughs> and we had to go on set at 3 p.m. for intimate review. And Charlie, I was just, so let me take off my glasses, right? So I was just like this the whole time. Like, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> and as you say, you said, it would delay your thinking process. So you're trying to think about, okay, how am I going to see this thing and all that? But when I put it back on like this, it improves my productivity by 20%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, with, so uh, with the digital mm. uh, screens, it's important that we protect our eyes because of the blue lights that come out of it. Okay. And our, pos our posture can do so many things for us. Sometimes yeah. you sit behind your PC and you are like this. Yeah. And the, you are so close to it, all those induce something we call computer vision syndrome. Mm -hmm. And so there is the right posture. The computer has to be about 60 to 70 centimeters yeah. away from you. And you should be looking down towards the computer about 15 to 20 degrees. Yeah. So that you are uh, looking over the computer. And then the light around you and the light around the computer should be the same. If it is different, it can induce glare, it can induce discomfort because the eye tries to focus and mm -hmm. make everything um, clear for you to be able to see. see but if the yeah. light is not equal all around, it can cause some discomfort. And people tend to have teary eyes, they yeah. tend to have burning eyes, pain, backache. If you don't sit well behind your computer, you can experience headache. I mean, back ache, neck ache, mm -hmm. and all that. So it's important that we sit well and position our computers right. When you sit down and you realize you are tired from sitting mm. rightly behind your computer, then it's time to get up and look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Okay. And that's what we call the 20-20-20 rule. After every 20 minutes, you look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. It okay. helps you to um, improve or prevent computer vision syndrome. And blink often. Mm -hmm. Blinking is important. Sometimes we feel I'm so focused on something and so you find it difficult to, to blink. But when you don't blink, when you blink, the tears rub on the eyes and mm -hmm. make your eye feel comfortable. It mm -hmm. lubricates the eye. But if you don't blink, tears collect on it and then the vision becomes blurred. Now you are thinking of how to make the thing clear oh, again. Yeah. And it's so much strain on the eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today we, we we would have to be we be wrapping about this conversation. Yeah. But you said we have some exercise that to we have do, to do. Yeah. So uh, uh, is it a five minutes or this is the one you maybe in the course of the day you can be chipping these okay. things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. True. True. Uh, okay. How to ways to reduce digital strain? Mm -hmm. Talking about the computer vision syndrome. Yeah. 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 So I'm sure that in the course of the day you will talk we'll about be able to all do that. those. Okay. And this is just an eyelid wipe. We'll talk more about it. I'm sure that you can't use yours now. But I'll leave the box for you. <laughs> okay. So we just want to clean our eyelids. I wonder how this one I mean, is I, I really don't know how I'm going to do this. You can take off see. your glasses. Okay. Hmm. We'll talk more about this. My eye, eyelid. Yeah. Eyelid is what? This one. Mm -hmm. This one. Maybe I mean the one. Yeah, down there. So you close your eyes. Close one. Close one and eye. Look at me. So you clean from inside out, like that. Ah, oh, inside. Yes, inside okay. out. Okay, inside out. Yes. 
but with the eyes closed, just like that. Yeah, yeah. you know, I normally do, I normally do that after I take off my makeup, mm. and I feel some uh, at the edges or at the corner. Mm. I I'd rather use tissue, not a wipe. Yes. So yeah. this is a now I have like wipe. okay. This one, have you okay. done it? I think so. This one is so sensitive when it comes to his eyes. <laughs> He's not doing it well. <laughs> you know. You fix your thumb in between the tissue and you just wipe it from left to right, right to oh, left. Charlie, That's I need it. You, you do well. <laughs> you do well. <laughs> okay. she, like, he hasn't. You see, there are things at the edges of mm -hmm. his eyes. This one is so sen sensitive when it comes to his eyes. <laughs> he's, he's loving his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've tried. I've tried. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I can't do it, but then I'll try it. I'll try it at home. But. Can, can it be purchased from any pharmacy? Yeah, it, it can be purchased for now. It can be purchased that I said. I said. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, so, so I'll feel my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you feel much better. Yeah. yeah. So it's for dry, red, itchy mm -hmm. eyes. Okay. okay. Some people have something we call demodex infestation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can help okay. So, Dr. Tabuji. Please tell them where I'm coming from. Pardon? Tell them where I'm coming I said. from. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I said. I said. That's where we got our glasses, but well, today, it, yes. my, my So, just so you yeah. know, it's just obsidian to my general uh, yeah. hospital. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. please go get your eyes checked mm -hmm. and, and all that. And thank you for always being nice to us. <laughs> That's one. It's okay. Right. See, okay. You, see you in March. Okay. Or before March. I'm supposed to come for a review. World Local Madi. Oh, ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Nanaya, why are you laughing? Dr. Atawiji, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> this is really, really, really appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs>